Good morning. I'm Greg Wallace. I'm the Director of Athletics and Recreation at Grinnell. President John F. Kennedy once said, physical fitness is not only one of the most important keys to a healthy body, it is the basis of dynamic and creative intellectual activity. And I think when we look at this new complex, it's much more than a recreation and athletic center. It's an academic center where we will host dance classes for the purpose of teaching as well as a practice facility. It's a home for wellness classes in the natatorium, the fitness center, the field house, and the auxiliary gym. It's a home for our physical education activity classes, which will take place in the natatorium, the fitness center, the multi-purpose dance studio, the auxiliary gym, Darby gym, and the field house. It's also the home for our physical education lecture classes, which will be held on the upper level of the office suite area. It's also the home to 20 varsity sports and our coaches. It's the home to new locker rooms for our athletic teams that we've never had in the past. It's practice space for multiple teams during inclement weather. This new 50 meter pool with movable bulkheads to provide the best facility possible for training and competition. The new field house, which includes a 200 meter track to accommodate state, regional, and national meets, as well as four competitive tennis courts for varsity and recreational use. It also includes the state-of-the-art athletic training facilities and equipment issue room. This new complex will also be the home of our wellness program for students, staff, and faculty. Those include yoga classes, aerobic classes, water aerobics, general workouts in the fitness center, and including noontime basketball. This is also the location for our outdoor recreation program. You'll notice at the, uh, off the hallway to the north end, you'll see the new climbing and bouldering wall. You'll notice that in this area, we don't have the kayaks and canoes that we had in the old pool, but they'll actually be stored inside and be able to be used here. And we also will have our outdoor leadership programs take place here. This is also the new home for our recreational sports from volleyball, basketball, badminton, dodgeball, indoor soccer, strongman competition in the fitness center, John Fitch's Fitch's Fish here, and lap swimming as well. This is also the home for our club sports programs where we'll have the men's and women's water polo competition and practice here. We'll also have dag and fencing competition in the auxiliary gym, ultimate frisbee in the field house, and Aikido, Judo, and the martial arts in the multi-purpose room. It is a building that the Grinnell community can be proud of as well. This will also be the home for the high school swimming teams, both the men and women. They will also have the ability to host indoor track meets in the future. The Parks and Rec Recreation Department will continue to be able to use the natatorium for open swim, tiger sharks. They'll use the racquetball courts. They'll have chance to use the climbing wall in the future and continued free admission to all contests. It is our hope that in the future that this new complex will enable us to host regional, state, and national meets. We already have two on tap as of right now. Next winter, we will host the 2011 Midwest Conference Swimming and Diving Championships, and then to be followed later in that month by the 2011 Midwest Conference Indoor Track Championships. And we've just been notified that we are one of the finalists to be able to host the 2012 NCAA Indoor Track Championships. So who benefits? So who benefits from this new building project? Our student athletes, general students, faculty, staff, coaches, the community, and the alumni all do. The Recreation and Athletic Center is a place to meet, a place to compete, a place to practice, to exercise, a place to learn, and more importantly, a place to have fun. And we are certainly pleased. Uh, I know that I speak for Dee Fairchild and myself. 
the, the cooperation that we've had and the instruction from the architectural firms, uh, in particular Darren and Brad and Nick, the people that have worked most closely with us, as well as with the Newman folks, has been a pleasure and we are terribly excited about the opening of this facility this fall. Thank you so much.